Once you have done a few standard pens and pencils, you can then move on to more elaborate pens and pencils. In this project, we'll be making a flat top fountain pen, but this time we'll be turning a different type of material, plastic. At first glance, this can be a complicated kit, but following the guidelines, it can be a simple process. A good tip is to be familiar with the names of all the components within your kit. We have two brass tubes, a centre ring, an end finial, the finial bushing, another end finial, a black tube, a reducing ring, a threaded coupler, a clip, a nib grabber, the nib, an ink pump and an ink refill. This particular pen will require two different tools a roughing out spindle gouge and a small parting tool. Marking the plastic blank is the same as the previous two kits. Also the cutting drilling cleaning the tubes gluing and trimming. This fountain pen has two different bushings in pairs. Mount the bushings in the blanks in pairs and load onto the mandrel. Turning plastic is the same as wood. Sharp tools are always required. Turn the plastic down to the bushings using a roughing out spindle gouge. You will notice that you end up with two different diameter blanks matching the bushings. Finishing plastic is a little different from wood. The tiniest scratch will show up so several different abrasives will be used to get a flat finish. Use the same abrasives as for wood and work your way through the grits. This particular pen has to be sanded to 2000 grit. If you look closely at the blank, you will probably still see scratch marks. We will now need to polish this to a high luster which will dazzle you and your friends. First, we use a buffing block. This will remove the heavier scratches with light buffing. Next we use a high gloss plastic polish. Start with the lathe speed low and apply a small amount to the revolving pen. Slowly build up speed working the polish into the pen. Finally buff the pen at high speed. All the scratches have been removed, leaving a high gloss effect. Now that the final polish has been finished, we need to do our last bit of turning. To allow the centering to fit properly, we need to cut back the plastic to the brass tube. If we have done this before finishing, there could have been a chance of rounding over the blank causing an unattractive joint with the centering. We can now dismount the pen from the mandrel. As with the previous two projects, remove the mandrel and revolving center and replace with a pen assembler. 
As plastic does not have a grain structure, then it does not matter which way round the pen is assembled. We follow the instructions assembling the fountain pen using the pen assembler. As before, using firm pressure from the tailstock. Take time assembling the pen, as all components are tight push fits. If a mistake is made, then disassembling the pen can be difficult, if not impossible, without damaging the components. Once all the components are push fitted with the pen assembler, the final assembly requires just the ink pump to be pushed in by hand and the top to click into place. And there we have it, the finished fountain pen.